Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you my January favourites. So starting off, my favourite song of the month is actually an old one but um, has recently been performed at the inauguration and it is Firework by Katy Perry. It's such a classic, I absolutely loved it when it came out. I think it was the first song of Katy Perry that I really liked. The next thing is my favourite album and of course it has to be Little Mixie's Confetti. Every single song on this I listen to. My favourite is Sweet Melody, of course. I um, also obviously like Breakup Song and Holiday but non-single wise my favourite is Gloves Up. Such a good tune, I hope they open with it on tour. The next one is what my favourite colour of the month is because my favourite colour actually changes quite a lot but it does keep going back to this one and this month it is blue. The next one is what is my favourite TV show and this month I'm going to cheat slightly, it's not TV, it's Netflix but still. I've absolutely been loving The Crown, I've actually limited myself to just one episode a week because I could just sit and watch them all in one day. But I have managed to not watch the full of series 4 yet. I'm getting close. I think I've got one episode left. And next is what my favourite film slash movie. And it is Wonder. Um, absolutely, oh, such a good film. If you have not seen it, you need to watch it. It is on Netflix, might be on Amazon Prime. I'm not sure. Honestly, such a good film. You need to watch it. Yes, it makes you cry, it also makes you laugh, and it's just one of those films that you're like, oh, love it. Moving on to food, my favourite thing to eat this month has been cornflakes. I've never really been a fan of cornflakes, I've always gone for a different cereal, but this month, absolutely obsessed. I don't know why, I do go through stages, so it'll be interesting to see if I still like these next month. Next is what my favourite treat slash snack is. Um, I actually don't have it with me. Very healthy Harry Botan Fastics. They're just so good. I could really do the packet right now. Next is what my favourite meal is this month. And this is actually from Zoe Sugg's Cordially Invited book. And it is the Firecracker Chicken. Now in this book, the Firecracker Chicken is actually like meant to be nibbles for a party or something. But we actually have it with some rice. And yeah, Firecracker Chicken with the rice. So nice. And it's actually what we're having for tea tonight. So I am looking forward to that. The next thing is what my favourite drink has been. Now, if you know me, um, I do not like hot drinks at all. I only ever have hot chocolate if it is like freezing outside. So my favourite drink this month is Sprite. Just such a good drink. Um, I feel like I'm saying that with everything, but it's my favourite this month. So my favourite piece of clothing this month, without a doubt, is my Levi's jeans. They are the 512s. I now have two pairs. Obviously, I need to wear them for work, but at the moment, I can't go. If you've not got Levi's jeans, go get a pair. And next is what my favourite scent has been, and it is this Ted Baker London Body Spray. I actually got this for Christmas last year, and have just recently started using it. Um, really like it. The smells great. It actually kind of reminds me of Christmas time now because it's what I wore at Christmas. So yeah. And next is actually what my favourite game has been. Um, I'm not really much of a gamer really. I only ever really play one game and that is The Sims 4. My favourite pack that has recently came out has to be Eco Lifestyle. The furniture in that is so good. I don't really like it for the gameplay as such, but the actual like furniture and stuff, very good. My style. The next thing is what my favourite 
stationery item has been like stationery organization thing um, and this month is actually these. Now you may be thinking that's just a normal calendar and yes you're right but these are from a website called 123calendars.com. All I've been doing is printing them off and actually marking in what type of videos I'd like to make when I could do them. Obviously it can change, so that's why I wanted ones that you can print off. So if I want to change something, take it off. I can print one off and put something else. So that's what I've actually been using to organize YouTube videos and other things as well. I don't know if you can see, I have January, February and March already up on my wall. And this is April and May, which I will fill in at some point. So if there's any content you'd like me to do, leave a comment down below and I will note them down. The next thing is what my favourite gadget has been. And of course, this month it has to be my iPhone 12 Pro Max. The camera's just so good on it. Um, we went up the hill, I took some pictures in the snow. It's nice to have a phone that actually doesn't die all the time. My iPhone 7 used to be like dead by like 12 o'clock. I always had to charge it up. Whereas for example, it is now half past three and I am still on 75%. The next thing is what my favorite app has been. And this month, I'll just get it up on my phone. This month it is an app called Sleep Cycle. Basically keeps you in a sleeping pattern, which is something I'm quite bad at. Hopefully with this app, I will get better. I can already feel the difference. I actually now wake up just before my alarm goes off. So basically, for example, I'll put it here, a screen recording of my phone. And um, you can see last night I had 100% sleep quality. I was in bed for eight hours, asleep for seven hours, uh, almost eight actually, that's quite a long time. Um, and you can see that it actually recorded me coughing. So if you're like me and have a bad sleeping pattern, do get that app. It's helped me so much, I started using it in December. There was an app I used previously which wasn't as good. With that app, it is free, but you can actually upgrade as well to listen back to you coughing, snoring, uh, speaking. It records if you're like speaking through the night, which I find quite creepy. I haven't done that yet, so. And next is what my favorite editing software has been. And this month it is definitely Premiere Pro. Um, I do use iMovie a bit, but Premiere Pro has so much more to offer. Um, it is quite difficult to work out. I actually taught myself how to use it through YouTube videos. So if you'd like to know how to use it, definitely go check out some videos on YouTube. Next is what my favorite podcast has been this month. And actually it's just recently came out and it is called Relax. Relax is Colleen Ballinger. Um, you might know her from being Miranda Sings. Um, and also her husband, Eric. Um, such a good podcast. I like to just have it on in the background um, whilst I'm doing things. If there's any podcasts you think I should check out, leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, I'm always looking for something to have on in the background. So just let me know. And next is what my favorite YouTuber is of the month. And of course, that is Hannah Lorna. Also, I wouldn't really class it as a YouTuber, but it's a YouTube channel and it's actually come down with me. Um, again, it's just something to have on in the background. I find myself going on to the channel to see if there's anything else uploaded. If not, I'll scroll back and watch an old thing. I don't know why. That's how bored I've become. Next is what my favorite destination has been of the month. The co-op, my house. We shouldn't be going anywhere. So if you've got a favorite destination of the month. And the last one is what my favorite memory has been of the month. But of course, I'm not gonna tell you that. You'll have to come back and watch my monthly roundup video, which will be out at the start of February. I'm not sure what the context of it's going to be. So yes, that is my January favorites video. Is there anything you've been liking this month? Let me know in the comments down below. And yes, I will see you again for another video soon. Bye.